What is free software? Free software is software that respects the user's freedom and the community, the social solidarity of the user's community. So it's free as in freedom. We're not talking about price. We don't mean gratis software. We mean freedom respecting software. It's clearer in Greek because you could say elephero and it doesn't mean zero price. So when you're speaking Greek, don't use the English word free. Say elephero. <clears throat> in English, I have to explain, think of free speech, not free beer. To understand the correct meaning of the word free in the term free software. By the way, has the air conditioning been turned on? It doesn't feel that way. Uh, <clears throat> software which is not free, we call proprietary software, non-free software, user-subjugating software. It's a system of digital colonization that keeps the users divided and helpless. You know, divide and rule is an old policy, but now it's being practiced through computer software. The users are divided because they are prohibited from redistributing copies, prohibited to share. <clears throat> They're helpless because they don't have the source code, so they can't change the program, they can't even tell what it really does. And often these programs have malicious features designed to mistreat the user. But what I've said is very general, software that respects the user's freedom. What freedom is it? There are four essential freedoms that define free software. A program is free software if you, the user, have these four freedoms. Freedom zero is the freedom to run the program as you wish. Freedom one is the freedom to study the source code and change it so that it does your computing the way you wish. Freedom two is the freedom to help other people. That's the freedom to redistribute exact copies of the program to others when you wish. And freedom three is the freedom to contribute to your community. That's the freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others when you wish. So if the program gives you these four freedoms, then it's free software because the social system of distributing and using that program is an ethical system, one that respects freedom and community. But if one of these freedoms is missing or insufficient, then the program is proprietary software, which means that it imposes an unethical social system on its users. Thus, if you want to live in freedom, you need to avoid proprietary software. Any proprietary program takes away your freedom. <clears throat> As you can see, this is not a technical question. It's not a question of how the code is written, or how the code works, or what job it does when it runs. It's a question of the social arrangements for using the code. So the same code can be distributed as free software or as proprietary software. And in some cases, it's distributed in both ways in parallel. This is a social, ethical, and political question, not a technical question. The use of a free program in society is development. It's increased knowledge available to society for use. Free software is software that the citizens of any country or city can study, understand, maintain, adapt, and extend. Use of proprietary software is not development, it's dependence. To develop a free program 
is a contribution to society. How much of a contribution, that depends on the details. But developing a proprietary program is not a contribution, it's a power grab. It's better to do nothing at all than develop a proprietary program because if you do nothing at all, then at least you're not doing harm. So, the goal of the free software movement is that all software be free so that all software users can be free. But why are these four freedoms essential? Why define free software this way? Each freedom has a reason. Freedom to, the freedom to help others, the freedom to redistribute exact copies when you wish, is essential on basic moral grounds. So you can live an upright ethical life as a good member of your community. If you use a program that denies freedom too, you are in danger of falling into a moral dilemma at any moment Whenever your friend says, that program seems useful, could I have a copy? In that moment, you will face a choice between two evils. One evil is to give your friend a copy and violate the license of the program. The other evil is to refuse your friend a copy and comply with the license of the program. If you are in this dilemma, you ought to choose the lesser evil which is to give your friend a copy and violate the license <laughs> of the program. What makes this the lesser evil? We can presume that your friend is a good friend and a good member of your community and normally deserves your cooperation. By contrast, the developer of the proprietary program has deliberately attacked the social solidarity of your community. So, if there's no way to avoid doing wrong to one or the other, you should do it to the developer. <clears throat> the developer deserves it. <laughs> does not make it good. It's never good to make an agreement and break it. Because not even in cases like this one, where the agreement itself is evil, and keeping the agreement is worse than breaking it, still breaking it is not good. And if you give your, uh, if you have a portable tracking and surveillance device, please switch it off. They have already tracked you here. They know you're listening to me. <laughs> so there's no need to keep sending out signals to inform them that you're still here. <laughs> and if they want to hear my speech, they don't need to use your portable tracking and surveillance device in eavesdropping mode, where it transmits the conversations around you and doesn't ring or show you any sign that it's doing so because a recording is being made and they'll be welcome to watch. <clears throat> now, the reason, of course, that you can't control what these devices do is that they have proprietary software. <laughs> <clears throat> and if you want to be sure they're not sending out signals saying where you are, you have to take the batteries out. It's the only way to reliably be sure. <clears throat> you see, with software, there are just two possibilities. Either the users control the program, or the program controls the users. With free software, the users control the program, and nobody has power over anybody else. With proprietary software, the program controls the users, and the developer controls the program. 